Hi, and welcome back to Assessing Achievement with the ELL in mind. We are excited to begin Module 3, which focuses on a variety of specific alternative assessment types used with the ELL in mind. The first video in this lesson focuses on one particular type of alternative assessment, which is the assessment portfolio. Before we begin, we will provide you with a working description of alternative assessment. Alternative assessment allows students to express their knowledge of content in the most direct way possible and should allow students to demonstrate mastery of the content area without the barrier of language. Alternative assessments follow a variety of format types. These assessments can make use of grids, diagrams, or checklists as a way to organize information input which can then be used to spark writing or some kind of a discussion between your students. Another possible format for alternative assessment output would make use of labeling information which would allow students to demonstrate, to demonstrate knowledge about the content while using appropriate vocabulary. Another example format would be sentence, writing, or speaking frames to support ELL's language output within the content area. And finally, portfolio assessments provide an excellent model for alternative assessment. Each of these formats require high or more complex cognitive thinking skills, but can be made accessible to students at a variety of language abilities. Let's take a look in more detail at portfolio assessment. Portfolio assessments are considered authentic assessment because they provide students the opportunity to showcase their work in ways that are not limited by language. A portfolio assessment is a collection of work done over a period of time. This is a selection of work and criteria as outlined by the teacher and student and demonstrates evidence of the student's content knowledge, skill and cognitive development, and language development. The pieces of evidence in a portfolio helps the teacher observe and monitor the ELL's language growth over a long period of time, which, is in turn, which in turn informs more specific and appropriate summative assessments at the end of a course or unit. Portfolio assessments also provide immediate feedback and give opportunity for reflection on learning, so the student can monitor their own growth. Portfolio assessments could include an unlimited demonstration of knowledge. For example, students at a, at a more basic language level could include drawings or diagrams to demonstrate content knowledge of a concept or process. A portfolio could include writing samples, videotaped oral presentations, or oral work which would illustrate students' understanding of different genres of text. A portfolio assessment could also include solutions to a math problem demonstrating problem solving abilities, or a lab report in a science class in which the student demonstrates the understanding of the scientific method. It could include some kind of report for a social studies class or language arts class which would allow the student to demonstrate their ability to use multiple sources and write in a specific format. Test data could also be included in a portfolio. And finally, all portfolios sh should include a self-reflection provided by the student on his or her work. ELLs play an active role in their own portfolio assessment in that they select their work to be shared. They also take part in creating a checklist of criteria or shared vision so they can set their own goals for language development as well as content mastery. And finally, ELLs can continually reflect on their growth as a student in your class. Grading portfolios do offer some challenges, especially with the ELL in mind. The first challenge is whether or not you are grading the portfolio for language development or content mastery. Striking a balance between the two requires careful planning and shared intent. The evaluation of portfolios can be quite time consuming and are subjective in nature, which leads to the question of consistency. You can consider using checklists and milestone portfolio grading to help keep the grading of portfolios more consistent and valuable. 
This is just one type of alternative assessment format that you can use in your content classroom and that carries special value for your ELLs as they continue to develop their language alongside their content mastery.